I'm Jason Stewart, a uh, local farmer here at Roscoe, Texas. Uh, we've been farming here for four generations in the community. I remember planting cotton as a young kid and, and uh, hoping to hit a bumper crop and then September, October comes and you didn't make anything. In today's time, should you miss a crop, you could be out of the business. All that's changed since we've got the wind turbines. This demonstrates really the scale of the, of the technology. The wind power has evolved from being a, a small player in the energy mix to being a big power station by any measure. It seems to be a perfect location for wind farms. There's enough wind, there's enough space. It's gave people opportunities that they have not had in the past for jobs, sources of income. It makes a local boy very proud to be known as the, as the wind capital of the world. On the Great Plains of Texas, new energy is on the horizon on a scale unmatched around the world. This is a success story that may have never happened if not for one small community's enthusiasm and a global company's vision. In 2006, Eon's CEO, Dr. Wolf Bernadette, and board of directors launched their vision to make Eon a leader in renewable energy. That foresight led Eon to West Texas and the town of Roscoe. Farmland around Roscoe provided the perfect palette for building the world's largest wind farm. This is huge. This is uh, much more concentrated in its design than we have in many other places. So I think the conditions here are more favorable than uh, in other countries. To find this much open land that's such a good resource is utterly amazing. It has about 18 mile an hour year round winds and from start to finish we have five major transmission lines running across the site. Um, in many places we're lucky if we're within 20 miles of one. And so a lot of factors really came together to make this project work. Eon has found Texas to be the ideal environment for wind power in every way. Since open land is abundant, there's seemingly an unlimited potential for development. State regulations encourage renewable energy production, and demand for new domestic sources of energy is high. It's a major power station. This is making a big impact right now. The wind is blowing. It's a good day in West Texas. And this facility is contributing a significant component of, of energy. This is our flagship project, which really demonstrates the scale uh, of this technology and how it's really come of age and how uh, it really is uh, going to be a big player in the energy mix. This 781 megawatt project is actually four wind farms in one, Roscoe, Champion, Pyron, and Inadale. It's a nearly $1.5 billion investment by Eon to place more than 600 turbines across the landscape. Stretching more than 25 miles from north to south, the combined area is more than five times the size of Manhattan Island. A project of such immense size comes with challenges. These projects are uh, tough to get done. There's a lot of work by, by a lot of people, uh, whether that's uh, working with the landowners, working with the design, doing the engineering, doing the power sales, doing the financing, a whole range of things across a whole range, range of disciplines. In this remote site, nearly everything is shipped in. It's more than 230 miles from Dallas and more than 420 miles from the nearest seaport in Houston. Even in the face of these challenges, the wind turbines have been erected piece by enormous piece at a very efficient pace. Well, I've been here many times since before this was a wind farm. I remember being out here three years ago when we were trying to envisage what it might look like, seeing wind turbines in every direction. So it amazes me every time I come out and see phases three and four further advanced. Every day we're making progress here and getting uh, more megawatts on the system. By the time all four sites are complete, nearly 200 miles of underground cable will be laid, plus nearly 185 miles of new roads will have been built, allowing cranes, shipments, and other vehicles to make their way to the moving assembly line. All this has taken an international effort. General Electric, Siemens, and Mitsubishi turbines are designed and assembled in Japan, Denmark, the U.S., and Mexico. And workers from around the globe have played a role in construction and development. The thing that impressed me most about the way that the project has come together is the fact that we, we've managed to get all these companies really working closely together, and we were able to bring the project in pretty close to budget and, and on schedule. Well, this is one of the largest wind projects that Eon has undertaken to date 
and it's uh, bringing the great environmental benefits and benefits to the community here in Roscoe. So both from, uh, from a national standpoint and then from a local standpoint, I think it brings a lot of positives to the community and to the nation. For folks in this community, Eon's wind project has restored pride along with a new source of income. I think Eon has went way out of their way to help on these projects more than I really expected them to. Roscoe was just about dead, and even Sweetwater was, but now they have really picked up. You can't find a house to live in <laughs> and everything. Drought, challenges in the farming industry, and rerouting of highways had crippled the economy in Roscoe and the surrounding Nolan County. Today, as landowners earn valuable monthly residuals from each wind turbine on their property, Eon is preserving their way of life. Nowadays, you've got a uh, safety net with the income from the wind power, and it, it sure does take a lot of stress off worrying about making ends meet. There is a lot of pride involved in this project being in Roscoe. Just the fact that uh, the wind turbines can be placed in the cotton fields, which Roscoe is known for, uh, and other agricultural areas without interfering with the agricultural process is just a wonderful thing. We thought it would be good for the school, it would be good for the community, and it would be good for everybody. As school superintendent, obviously the increased property value has enabled our board to look at some facility improvements that otherwise we wouldn't be able to look at and the opportunity that that's going to provide for our students. Of course, the environmental impact of this project reaches much farther. It will provide enough power for 234,000 homes, avoid the release of 1.4 million tons of CO2 per year, and is the equivalent of taking nearly 250,000 cars off the road. This wind farm will offer us a, a clean power source for the next 30 years. This type of development is going to have a big impact, uh, not only in this community, but, but across the state and hopefully across the country. It's just a good feeling to know that this company is wanting to do the right things for the environment and, and for the people. Uh, and I, I like being a part of that. In September 2008, Dr. Bernatet and Eon Climate and Renewable CEO Frank Mastio visited Roscoe to witness how this vision was coming to life and to celebrate its dedication ceremony. Well, there's a lot of development potential here in the United States, and uh, I came here to see myself uh, what we are doing and what the potential is. These wind farms are some of the most efficient, well-run anywhere, boasting more than 98% availability, well above the industry average. It's a model project for the future of Eon Climate and Renewables. In the long term, uh, those machines will deliver the profits we expect, and of course, it has the additional benefit for the environment. When you think about uh, the climate change problems we have in the world, uh, renewables will play a significant role in the future in terms of energy supplies, uh, CO2 free, and that will help the climate. These Texas wind farms represent a large portion of the $10 billion Eon is dedicated to renewable generation and climate protection. This environmentally responsible effort provides a new future for a small community and leads Eon to the forefront of the global renewable energy industry. I like to see the wind turbines. Uh, you know, from an ecological standpoint, it's clean, renewable energy. It's a domestic product that we can develop right here locally. Uh, that's, that's good not only for the local economy, but for the national economy. The community is flourishing from Eon introducing the wind farm to our area. Ever since the wind turbines have come in, it introduces new hope for generations to come. We are mindful that as a diversified energy company, it's uh, essential for us to play a leading role in, in reducing the amount of carbon dioxide we produce and providing the energy that, that everyone needs. And a project like this is a flagship example of that. I'm extremely proud that we were able to, to bring this project you know, together. In, in less than three years, this went from being uh, just an idea to the biggest wind farm in the world. It's truly amazing.